Measures of central tendency include the mean, which is also the average, the mode, and the median. There are three types of averages which tell us about the central value of a set of data. These are mode, the value that occurs most often. You can remember this by associating the MO of the word most with the MO of the word mode. Mean, this value is commonly called the average. It's found by adding up all the values and then dividing the sum by the number of datum. A way to remember this is your maths average is mean. No one really likes what they get for maths, so maths marks are mean. The mean value is found by adding up all the data values and then dividing the sum by the number of datum. In other words, if I had 10 different values, the number of datum I have, the number of sets of data would be 10. But those values could be 7 and 4 and 3 and 4 again. But there would be how many numbers? 10. The median is when the data is arranged from smallest to largest. The number in the middle of the set is the median. So S for small, M for medium, and L for large. The number in the middle of the set is the median. So it looks almost medium, just like your t-shirt. When there's an even number of datum, the median is the mean of the two numbers closest to the middle of the set. And this means that sometimes you will have a set of data like this. Let's say we have 2 and 4 and 5 and 7. The median value is the value that's in the middle of the set of data. What's in the middle of 4 and 5? Four and a half. How did I get that? Well, add the two numbers together and divide by 2. And these are our basic measures of central tendency.